Hi hey YouTube, this is Randoma379, and this is the seventh part of my Pontus Campaign Chronicles. And this is the same turn as my sixth part, and something, and something's actually going to happen in this video. And it's not actually going to be in my turn, but you'll see what happens. So I'll go end the turn now. You can see the army of Macedonia, which, while well, I was besie besieging Mylatine, and they came out and attacked me, and you can see my army here, oh no you can't, that's my general, he's a good general, a good family man but he's not such a good general, you can see that army here, I might go through it, and then this army here is already inside the town, so they're going to be attacking me from two sides, so I'm going to go fight this battle, and this will be the first battle I've fought on EB that I have, I will have shown you, and so here it is. Yeah, so here's the deployment um, part of the battle, and I'm going to go and form the phalanx line. And it's quite a flat map, as you can see right here, and so it shouldn't be too hard a battle. Or I won't be able to take advantage of any of the hills, but then again, neither will they, and so that'll be quite good. And so I'm going to have my main phalanx line, my Pando Dapoai Phalangitai. <laughs> my pronunciation is not very good. And I'm going to have my non phalanx infantry troops on my flanks. So I'm going to have. I think I'll have. Yep. Yeah, and I'll split them evenly up on both of my flanks. I have two units of Eastern Slingers here. I'll just put those in front of my main line. You can see they're in loose formation. And I'll turn skirmish mode off because I'll probably just move them myself. Put my side chariots on my right wing. And my general towards my left wing. And I guess it's time to start the battle now. So this is the battle for my Latin. And so you can see here is the enemy's army. The Macedonian army. And I'm right straight away I'm going to target his um, skirmisher cavalry with <clears throat> my slingers. And he might have the advantage in this battle, slightly, because he has um, more cavalry than me. I'm just going to bring these guys back a bit. I don't want them to get run over. You know what I mean, not run over. Charged. Just fire will off. Front line down, and they charge straight in, which is really stupid. So they charge into my phalanx line here, and they're already wavering. I'll probably route soon. Yeah, they're ready. Oh, they're fighting to the death. And the AI can be pretty stupid, and this is only a normal difficulty of the game. So it shouldn't be too hard. Well, obviously, it isn't too hard, and the AI does some pretty stupid things. But the thing is, if you play it on any of the harder difficulties, it only gives the AI advantages such as like more morale. So it just makes it unfair. And now, because these guys are getting a bit too close, I'm going to run my um, my side chariots in. Except unless they withdraw. laggy bit right now. So I'm gonna go run them in. Watch this. Side chariots are very deadly. And they also have a morale effect on the enemy. Because I mean wouldn't you be frightened by side chariots like this? It's pretty wouldn't like to be in there. If you think about it. They're actually holding their ground for quite a long time. I'm just gonna let them keep on fire. Actually, can I give them a little shot with my fingers? And they routed. You can see that? As you can see, it's a huge change of exchange of javelins or peeler, whatever you want to call them. And 
I'm clearly winning this. I mean, maybe saying it's a waste just firing here, wasting my pillar, except I just want to use them, and it's, it's his general's unit, so it's quite important. So you can see they attacked me here. So I'm going to charge in with my Celtic Hellenic infantry, and then with my Celtic spear on the side, and so hopefully route him. Route the enemy. They're wavering, and as soon as they're done, I'll just charge into the back of these Lenny Clevy Phalanx. It's up a bit now. See, they're routed now. The enemy's coming in. And so, yeah, you can see I'm not using my general too much because I don't want him to die. I don't want my family member to die. That's always a chance. I mean, it's small, but it's still there. So they finally started moving, and now the second part really begins. Oh, no, actually, bad idea. <laughs> yeah, generally don't just charge your side chariot chariots into units unless they're supported by anything, unless you want your side chariots to die. These are expensive units, so you probably don't want them to die. Engaged over here. It's mostly weak units, except you just have classical hoplites there. second there. And the enemy's infantry over here is also around here. And I'll get my general now to do some of the cleaning up work. So this part of the battle is pretty up oh, and my side chariots are in a walk. Anyway. <clears throat> and my general died. The one unit that died was my general. As I said, you shouldn't put your general in battle. See, I used to have 70 men, now I have 69. And the only one that died was my general. That's life. Yeah, that can get pretty annoying. And yeah, it's the end of the battle now. I'll just continue it. Yep, yeah, and this is a clear victory for me. I killed 2,557 of his men and I had 2,311 remaining and he only killed 359 of my men. Yeah, so it was quite an easy battle. And yeah, I'll just show you me capturing the town and then it'll be good for this video. Yeah, so it's my turn now, I think, and yeah, I get a choice of what I'm going to do with the town. And just to keep the people in there happy, well, not probably won't make them happy, but keep the people less rebellious, I'm going to expel them, and you can see they're still quite unhappy, so let's do something about that, and they already activated this, so I don't think it's actually going to have any effect, yeah I activated that before the battle, so then again it might not have worked, oh, could have stuffed something up massively, but I don't think I did. I'm just going to lower the tax rate to keep the people happy. And I'm going to go and destroy their government building and start building my own government building. See what other buildings I can destroy. I don't think I can use this. Oh, so I can destroy that. What else can I destroy? Yep, yeah, destroy this as well. And I'll probably destroy the temple eventually, but not right now. Anyway, that's it for this part of the Pontus Chronicles, and hope you enjoyed the first battle that I could show you. And thanks for watching.